big dicks are overrated. So we got a comment recently about a guy who had, or claimed to have a big dick and he said that they were bullshit, overrated and they caused him a lot of issues. Yeah. We also agree. Yes, we have had this issue in the past when we have had big dicks. And we've also had a lot of grief from our YouTubers because we talked about dick size in a yeah. couple of our videos and people went ape shit. Yeah, they were like, big dicks or I ain't all that. You look size queens. Size queens, you fucking hoes. You two should put jumpers on. All this shit. Like, we didn't <laughs> actually say that we preferred big dicks. We just said like a slightly, slightly bigger than average. average. Yeah. Which is like which isn't a big dick. That's yeah. just like a good size. That's dick. just like what like six inches? About? Yeah. Yeah. But lots of people any anyway, there's a link below if you want to watch that one. Yeah. So um, why don't you like big dicks? I think like you get there's a lot of problems when it comes to big dicks like you can easily tear it's harder to get in and it's when it's in sometimes it can be painful yeah like when it gets too deep because it can obviously if it's bigger it'll get deeper and like some some vaginas just aren't up for that yeah definitely not you have to have a lot of foreplay um, yeah. I found that with either big dicks or girthy dicks, I get really bad UTIs or I get thrush oh, really yeah. easily. Condoms can be fucking difficult because you have to Ugh. find one that fits, especially because the poor yeah. guy, it's so tight for them. Mm. It's not nice at all. You can get magnums, which are like pretty big condoms, but they're like a quid each for fuck's sake. I think a big dick works when you're on a one night stand. You don't really need to impress a girl with like crazy sex move because you've got a big dick. Most of the time it's gonna work. Yeah. But when you're in a re relationship mm -hmm. and sex can be difficult towards the end, you're having a lot of vigorous sex. Yeah. That is where a big dick becomes problematic. Oh yeah, like that's the other thing. Like after you've had like really hot sex and stuff and you can be like quite rough, but afterwards, oh my God, like your vaginas are actually a bit destroyed. Yeah. And you have like a pain for like two days yeah, down like, there. Torn apart just at the entrance as well as like yeah. deep inside pain. And that yeah. sounds quite hot. Like the idea of, oh, you've been fucked so hard that it hurts. Like yeah. that's hot. But in practice, when it happens a lot, it actually makes you quite scared of having sex again. Yeah, and also it means that you can't have sex again straight afterwards yeah. because it will be really painful. Yeah. The UTIs and the thrush is the worst. Like, if you've never experienced it before in your life, I cannot tell you. It is literally like having a mosquito bite in your vagina. Painful every yeah, time you piss. So bad. It's, it's hard to explain if you've never had one, but you are more susceptible to that kind of infection when you are dealing with a big dick. It's just just fucks around with your JJ. Obviously, there are definitely girls that prefer big dicks. Yes. And like, there are different genital sizes for everyone. Absolutely. I mean, you can get small girls that have bigger, wider vaginas mm -hmm. and big girls that have smaller vaginas. You've got women, older women that have expanded or women that have had children have actually gotten smaller. Mm -hmm. It totally depends on the person. And we're all elastic as well. So the more turned on we get, the more you'll be able to fit in. I think actually, it's more like, you're great, you're like super satisfied when you have a big dick, but then your like following partner doesn't, his dick isn't so big and you're actually getting more pleasure from it. Yeah, that, I mean, for the smaller dicks, uh, not small, we're not talking about small dicks here, for the average slash below average, they do tend to hit your G-spot more, which allows you to come more, especially because it makes you more comfortable. Yeah. And we all know that to orgasm, you need to be comfortable, especially as a woman. So I would say that a big dick would probably be like eight inches or more, or um, girth. Girth is harder to deal with when you're a thicker guy. I mean, when it comes to love, it doesn't matter what size your dick is. Absolutely. Even if it is massive, even if it's average, and even if it's small, you're gonna love whatever they do to you because you're in love. Mm. Well, I hope this video has been, if not interesting, then supportive to anyone out there who has questions about their dick. And all you big dick guys, comment below, tell us your stories. Do you find that girls love your dick or are a bit scared of it? Mm. The be all and end all is love the dick that you've been given. Find what works for you and your partners. Mm -hmm. Don't just think it's the end of the world because you don't have a big dick or you don't have a small dick. Yeah, exactly. I think guys Everyone's kind of different. like, just like, Oh, I wish I had a bigger penis. Mm. Well, not just guys, all girls. Everyone does that. Everyone yeah. wishes they have what they don't have and they think mm. it's better because they've never experienced how it is with another thing. Yeah. Bigger tits, smaller vagina, bigger dick. You know, it's just the way it is. It is the way it is. Mm. We're human, for fuck's sake. So yeah, it's, big dicks are overrated. Yes.
than they are. Like and subscribe to our channel, comment below, and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye.